Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will cover what BitTorrent files are and how to download them with uTorrent. We will cover step by step how to install, use, configure, and optimize uTorrent. We then download a torrent and review the information and options available when downloading a file. What is uTorrent? uTorrent is a free BitTorrent client. It's the most widely used BitTorrent client outside of China. It's available in over 60 languages and it's designed to use as few system resources as possible, while still being lightweight, powerful, and efficient. It receives good reviews for its feature set, performance, and stability. It's available for both Windows and Mac, although the interface is slightly different. Basically, it's designed to meet all of your torrent downloading needs, while having as little an impact on the performance of your computer as possible. What are BitTorrent files? BitTorrent networking is the most used form of peer-to-peer -peer sharing in the world. BitTorrents, or as they are more commonly known, torrents, Download small pieces of a file from many sources at the same time. The sources of the file are other people that are downloading and sharing the same file. When you download a torrent, you also upload pieces of that file to others. This is how everyone is able to get the file, by sharing pieces of the file with each other. Let's install uTorrent. Open Internet Explorer, or another web browser of your choice, like Chrome or Firefox, and navigate to www.utorrent.com. On the uTorrent homepage, click the free download button. On the download information bar, you can save the file if you wish, or as I prefer, just click the run button. On the welcome to the uTorrent setup wizard screen, click the next button. On the warning screen, read the text and click the next button. On the license agreement page, read through the license agreement, and click the I agree button. On the choose install location screen, leave all the defaults and click the next button. On the configuration screen, leave the defaults and click the next button. On the check out our next spotlight release screen, uncheck yes I'd love to check out this free download and click the next button. On the uTorrent browser bar optional installation screen, Uncheck Set My Homepage to uTorrent Web Search. Uncheck Make uTorrent Web Search my default search provider. And click the Install button. If you have user account control enabled, click the Yes button to allow changes. Once uTorrent finishes installing, it will bring you to the Getting Started screen of the uTorrent application. Before we start using uTorrent, we need to change some of the default settings to improve performance and make it easier to use. The first step to do this is to run the Setup Guide. Click on the Options menu, then Setup Guide. On the uTorrent Setup Guide window, change the location next to Bandwidth to whatever location is closest to you. Uncheck the box next to Network as we will come back and test this after we set up the preferences. Click the Run Tests button. When the test is complete, it will have a green check next to it. The numbers we are interested in is the upload and download speeds. It shows the results in both kilobits per second and in kilobytes per second. uTorrent uses kilobytes, so we will use these numbers. Write down both your upload speed and download speed in kilobytes per second. Your numbers will be different than mine. We will refer back to them later. Click the Save and Close button. Let's set the appropriate preferences. Click in the Options menu, and then Preferences. On the General Preferences, click Start uTorrent when Windows starts, under Windows Integration. This enables the program to auto-start every time you restart your computer. You won't have to worry about starting it up manually. On the UI Settings Preferences, check everything under Display Options. Under System Tray, put a check next to Minimize Minimizes U2 to Tray. What this means is that when you minimize the application, it will only show up in the System Tray down here by the clock. Under When Adding Torrents, uncheck All Option. What this will do is make it so your files download automatically to a specific location on your computer. You don't have to select the download location every time you download a torrent. To have it automatically download, you need to set up the default location, and this is done on the Directories Preferences. Click the button to the right to select a download location. 
You can put this anywhere you have room. I have two disk drives, you may or may not. I have more space than the C drive, so I'm going to select the C drive. Now I want to create a new directory here to download all my files to make them easier to find. I'm going to right click on any white space in this window. Note that you cannot click on the folder, the name, the date, or the file type. It has to be in the white space here or here. I'll right click, New, Folder. I'm going to name this folder Downloads. Let's double click to enter this directory. Now that we're here, click the Select Folder button. You can now see that our new download location is on the C drive in the Downloads directory. Next, let's click on the Connection Preferences. Now let's notice next to Port Used for Incoming Connection. This was the port that was going to be tested on the speed test before. This is the port address that your computer will be communicating with other computers. Here we need to select a port number out of the dynamic port range, which is from 49,152 through 65,535. It can be any number between that range that you like. For this tutorial, we're going to set it to 49,666. Click on the bandwidth preferences. Here's where our two numbers we saved from the speed test before are going to come in useful. The numbers we got before on the speed test were the maximum upload and download speeds that our connection is capable of. If we were to set those numbers to exactly what we got on the speed test, it could potentially completely saturate our line. What that means is that there would be little room to browse the web or do anything else with your internet connection other than download your torrent files. Now what I like to do is to set the maximum upload rate to around half of what the maximum possible was. Mine was 76, about half of that is 38. Next, if we look next to the maximum download rate, we see that it's currently set to zero, which means it's unlimited. It would use as much as your internet connection would allow. Now back on the speed test, we had a maximum download rate of 640 kilobytes per second. For the download, I like to select 90% of that which for me, at 640, was around 576. That's why I'm going to put that number here. Work out the math for the numbers you got before, and put your numbers here, not the 38 and 576. Now these numbers were automatically selected before when we ran the speed test. Leave these as a default. Now let's select the BitTorrent preferences. Make sure that all the basic BitTorrent features are checked and enabled with the exception of the last one, Limit Local Peer Bandwidth. Next, let's select the queuing preferences. The queuing settings will determine how many active download and upload files your computer can have at the same time. Currently, mine is set to 4 and 3. I'm going to set those both to 4. Under Seeding Goal, the default value for the minimum ratio to share is 150. This means 150%. So if you downloaded a 1 gigabyte file, you would upload 1.5 gigabytes before your seeding would be complete. Let's change this to 100%. You will upload the same amount that you download. All right, now let's just apply all those settings by clicking the Apply button. Now clicking the OK button to close the Preferences window. Now that we've completed setting up the preferences, let's run the setup guide and determine if our TCP listening port is open. Click on Options. And setup guide. Now we've already run the bandwidth test, so we don't need to do that again. Uncheck. Make sure that network is checked and that our TCP port is set to 49,666 or whatever port you chose. Once that's all verified, click the Run Tests button. Now in this case, the port is not forwarded correctly. What that means is that the router is not appropriately routing traffic that's sent to port 49,666 from the internet to our computer. For the torrents to download as quickly as possible, this is essential. There are so many different routers out there that it would be difficult for me to write a tutorial on how to set that up for each and every one. Luckily, there's portforward.com. If you get the pro If you have a problem with the network check, click on this portforward.com link. Portforward.com has a listing of all routers ever made and most of the software that you'd ever need to create firewall rules for. Once you're here, you select your router type and the software that you're going to set up. 
and it gives you a custom document on how to set that up for your router type. In my case, I have a Netgear. DGN2000. So I would select this. We can skip the advertisement by clicking the click here to skip this advertisement link. And now we'll go through and we'll select uTorrent from the list. We now have a document here that tells us how to get the preferences, and we already know what port we we're forwarding. And then it goes through the document on how to open your web browser and connect to your router and make the necessary firewall changes. After you follow this document, your port should be forwarded correctly. Now that we've followed the port forwarding setup, and we have our port 49,666 properly forwarded to our computer, let's run the test one more time to verify. Click the Run Tests button. All right, so we have a green check. That means that our port is properly configured and it's being forwarded for BitTorrent traffic. Click the Save and Close button. Now that everything is set up, let's download a torrent to see how the whole process works. Let's open a web browser like Internet Explorer. There are a lot of torrent sites out there. My personal preference is kickasstorrents.com. Let's enter that in the address bar. And press Enter. Let's search for and download a legal torrent like Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a free, open-source Linux operating system distribution. In the search field, enter Ubuntu and click Search. For each download listed, you will get the name of the torrent, bubble with the last few comments made as well as a rating system, download link, the file size, the number of files contained in the file, and the age of the file, which in this case is one month, as well as seed and leech. Seed and leech refers to seeders and leechers. A leecher is someone who is currently downloading the file, but it's not complete. The leechers both download the file, as well as upload pieces of what they have downloaded to others. A seeder is someone who has completely downloaded the file, and is now just sharing the file by uploading to other leechers. After verifying the torrent is good by reviewing the comments and ratings, seeds is the most important item to look at. The higher the number of seeds, the faster the file will download. Let's select the top link to look deeper. Once the torrent page opens, you will see the thumbs up and thumbs down sign in the top right. This is a good indication as to the quality of the torrent. To review all comments, click on the Comments tab. Once you determine you want to download the torrent, click the Download Torrent link. Be careful as many websites will try to trick you into clicking on a download button that is in an ad. For Kickass Torrents, the link will always say Download Torrent. Click Download Torrent. Once your torrent starts, it will open uTorrent. If for some reason it doesn't and it's closed, you can open it back up by double-clicking on the uTorrent icon in the system tray. It is possible that the first time will ask you what program you want to use to download the torrent. If it does, select uTorrent from the list. If it's not available on the list, browse for the file to see Program Files x86 uTorrent and select the uTorrent.exe to open the file. In the uTorrent application window, let's click on the Torrents link in the side panel. By default, the view shows limited information. I like to change this to a more detailed view. Click on the Toggle Torrent View button. The default set of columns for uTorrent are pretty basic. Let's add some additional columns of information to make managing the downloads easier. Right click and select Seeds. Right click and select Peers. Right click and unselect Playback. Right click, unselect Label. And right click and unselect App. The columns can be adjusted by left clicking and moving. The downloading torrent will show up in the upper half of the window. You get the number of the torrent, the name of the torrent, 
the total file size, which in this case is 695 megabytes. When the status is downloading, you are downloading or leaching the file. When it is seeding, you have completed the download and are just sharing with others. If you stop the file, or when the seeding limit is reached, the status will be finished. You also have the download and upload speed of the torrent, the newly added seeds and peers column, and the ETA, which is the guess for when the file will complete downloading. Once the download is complete, you will see the torrent and the seeding status. The torrent will stay in the status until the downloaded and uploaded sizes match. You can stop the download before it finishes seeding by highlighting the torrent and clicking the Stop Torrent button. By doing this, the status turns to finished. You now have the file for use and are no longer sharing. You can double click on the torrent to open the file location where the torrent was downloaded. Now the file is here to copy to other devices or another location, or if it's a show or movie, it's just there to watch. Now that uTorrent is installed and configured correctly, you can download torrents from any website you want with just a few steps. I hope you enjoy the new world of torrents available before you.